hello guys how are you i i hope you are all good so today's topic is about how to create a 3d pipe using ugnx so i'll take this drawing as my today's exercise so you can see there is a 2d drawing of the pipe and it has the dimension instead of the coordinates so if you have seen my last video so in that drawing there were only points let me show you see so in this drawing there were no dimension given only the coordinates are given today i'll tell you how to create it with the dimensions only so to create uh, let me examine the drawing first so it ha it must have point so as you can see point a point b point c point d and point e so points are replicated replicated over this view point a point b point c point d point e okay Uh, so uh, there are five points a b c d e s then a to b will be a line b to c a line c to d is a line d to e is line so five points and four lines are there so i have to create four lines here and four lines here one two three four one two three four so i'll take this as a top view and this as a front view let me go to my annex and pipe part 2 desktop okay and so let me close this this is the pipe okay now i'll have a top view okay so go to the top view this okay and let me start see one two three four so i'll do one two three and four i've created i have just taken randomly the line so i'll put fit okay orient to view i have taken random lines but connected to each other let me go okay point a to b 23.5 and 37.8 a to c 23.5 no okay and 37 okay and 136 so from here to here is 130 sorry it is 86 okay 86 so from here it is 86 and last is 136 so total length of the Five is one thirty six. One thirty six. Okay, now go to this side. So this is good. A to C the fifty. Okay, now fifty five from 
here to here it is 55 and 64.8 point D 64 click with the hand 64 okay you can see uh, the lines are becoming dark so actually they are being defined okay fully constraint on there okay and 80 the last point is 80 click over there click over there and 80 so the this part is done let me do the another part so i have to take i've taken this so i have to take this part right okay Hmm. Now, <clears throat> one, two, three, four. So, what you have to do actually, you have to do like that uh, red pen. One, two, three, four. As we did here. Okay, now let's go back to this and since the, the last sketch is like that, like that and we have to think whether go to this side or this side. So I'll move orient to view to sketch. Okay. It's moving over, no worry. Here. Oh, first line is to be straight. Okay, uh, okay. And read line. And second line. Outwards, then inwards, and then straight. Is it like no? It's not the straight grid and this something like that. I'm doing this like that, okay. And 30 30 from here to here, it is 30. Total length A to E is 136 as we did earlier. So so dimension 37, 36 and 136 will be same for the for uh, B and C and D point. So from here to here it is 23.5 okay and 37 37 and now 86 and 136 136 they have already uh, now it is six and uh, this one is dark 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 and this so what about this okay and the one thing 38 is left 38 38 so from this point to this point is 38 
finish right click right so my point is my lines are created so sketch one is this sketch two is this so what you can do over here you can do combined projection so you have to come over there come over on the curve more combined projection curve or you can just search CUMBI just taking some time combine projection clicking click curve first giving direction as is as phone click this and along so direction for, for first curve the vector will go along that and second curve will have to go along that the vector will be perpendicular to each other okay now so you can see this is created let me change the color okay let's say hello okay so when you see fit when you see from here it does it does look like the this is sketch and this is sketch when you see uh, by revolving it around and you see this sketch this combined curve is exactly similar when you see from top and off front okay so let me hide this 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 is the original sketch now go to same circular band curve click ok since infer, infer curve is selected so the whole part is selected I should not do that ok now single curve click this curve next this curve ok again I'm at fault sorry single curve click now go to single curve so what about the radius so my radius is not given i think ok 25 25 center line radius is given so 20 r 25 okay apply click 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 so curves and fleets are created now composite curve composite curve so what does what does this command do actually so it extract the curve and create a polyline just like extract geometry okay so hide 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 this is created a polyline okay now go back to your pipe so what for 15.88 and 1.6 sweep tube tangency on 15.88 and okay minus 1.6 minus 1 point okay 8, 8 minus 1.6 is the thickness so 2 times the thickness 3.2 oh 10.88 okay so the pipe is created fit
Okay, let me show this view. So it does match like that only. So this, 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 this color just match this, and this just match this. Okay. So this was is also given in this point. I'll tell you in some other day how to do bulge. So today is all about this only. Thank you.